Hey folks, Mr. Sadie here. I uh, just want to do a quick video uh, on a uh, recent find. Uh, went to an auction last night and this is really the only thing I bought. Uh, awesome cool old hardware book. And this thing's from 1916. Uh, and there's just some incredible, incredible stuff in here. This thing's over 4,000 pages deep of just nothing but history on top of history uh i'll show you a brief few things in it and uh you know i obviously don't have time to go into too much detail it's just massive and uh i just thought it was really cool but we'll take a quick look uh, now the front few pages and the back few pages are all but gone on this thing i mean it's it's really toasty in the back but you know what, it's still cool, and, and where are you going to find this thing? Uh, well, I got one, but, uh, you know, I just can't imagine that very many of these made it from 1916. You're looking at right at 100 years old, uh, just short of it. So, anyway, they had, back in the day, now this was just a standard hardware store, and I just can't believe the stuff that they used to carry at these hardware stores. It's just phenomenal. Uh, We'll start off with the fear section. This is I marked just a few sections in here just to kind of some interesting points. Uh, this here is a uh, old Ford accessories. Uh, they sold uh, you can see they sold bumpers, uh, fenders, um, just incredible, and the pictures are just priceless. The whole book's priceless in my opinion, but you know that's to me. I, uh, I just love it. Uh, just parts after parts after parts uh, and stuff and I, I a lot of old tin advertising different paints and enamels and lubricants and stuff that you just even just as a reference guide you know not necessarily price guide of course but just as a reference guide uh, or even just for studying to get acquainted with some of the old stuff I mean it, you, you just can't beat it so it just goes on and on and on uh, I mean look at these old bicycles from 1916 I mean this is the kind of stuff that just gets my heart pumping uh, I mean for me reselling this is what it's all about I mean this kind of history just when you can get your hands on it and be a proud owner of it it's just just something special it really is um, you know, here you could. This this was a probably a top of the line bicycle back in the day, and it was thirty five dollars in nineteen sixteen. So uh, that was a lot of money. This one down here has got a couple extra accessories. Got the uh, stand on the rear wheel, and it was uh, well. Sorry about the shadow there. It was uh, forty bucks. You could have that baby. I wish I had a couple dozen of them now. Uh, and anyway, it just goes on and on. I mean, fish and lures. And it's just not a couple lures. It's pages and pages and pages of these things. Uh, just every type of fish and lure and spinner bait. Uh, every type of hook. And it gives you the actual size of the hooks. Uh, it, it's, it's just incredible. Just pages and pages. Uh, old bobbers, old wood bobbers. Leaders, treble hooks. Uh, weights uh, it, just crazy uh, I could go through this thing all day I looked at this thing to like midnight last night and I just and I barely even scratched the surface on it so I don't know I'm probably going to uh, be listing it on eBay there's old baseball and the sports stuff I mean they, they just sold everything at the hardware store back then you know that was I mean that was the department store uh, it was kind of like the general store plus some I mean, this is about as mantiques as it gets, uh, in my opinion. You know, old catcher's mask and uh, baseball stuff. Uh, I mean, bases, uh, professional base, uh, leather tone. Uh, just, just incredible. Look at these old ball gloves. I mean, they just, you know, but if you're ever wanting to identify something from back in the day, a book like this would be great to have, you know. Uh, I know there's other books and stuff that uh, price guides and all that stuff. But what's what's 
uh, better than having the actual original advertising photo from, you know, uh, just awesome. I mean, it's just incredible. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm in the baseball bat. I mean, every time I turn a page, I just, I get excited, you know. Uh, police uh, equipment. Uh, even to buy a badge, you could even be a marshal back then, or police, just buy a badge, I guess, I don't know. Uh, whistles, uh, Austin's dog bread, it's just incredible stuff. Uh, dog collars, I mean, just these dogs, and I've noticed also on eBay, I've been looking at some of the older dog collars are very collectible and they can be high, big money, you get the right one. Uh, you know, but this, just looking through a book like this can open your eyes to so many. I mean, look how ornate some of this stuff. How'd you like to have one of these original old Bull Terrier spike collars? Jeez. And, uh, $17 a dozen. $25 a dozen. $35 a dozen. Uh, geez, what, what, what you could do with them? nowadays uh, I mean people would just uh, die for them you know so uh, duck decoys hunting uh, but before this video gets too long I do want to get to some of the better stuff up here uh, I, I, this kind of look at this here pistols I mean Johnson revolvers uh, Marvel's game getter gun I mean look at that thing jeez I, I mean just unreal Unreal. It's just so exciting, you know. Uh, look at that Stevens single shot. Unbelievable. And it goes on and on and on. I mean, it's got Winchesters. Uh, just, you know, I'll kind of hold back where you can just kind of see. I, I mean, it's just page after page after page of nothing but just pure stone cold history uh, it's just so awesome but anyway I just wanted to share this with you I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet uh, I made this for my buddy Andrew over Picking Profits I promised him I'd make a video on the book I found so that's what I'm doing uh, I mean just it goes on and on and on I mean you can see I barely touched this thing I mean, it's got everything from frying pan. I mean, just everything. Pocket knives. Uh, I marked just a couple interesting pages. I mean, it's, the whole thing's interesting. I mean, just page after page after page of knives. Uh, stove accessories. Uh, some of the stoves in here, some of the potbelly stoves in here were just incredible. Uh... Uh, just ridiculous stuff. I mean, really ridiculous. I mean, just crazy money that they, that's, that you'd get for some of this stuff nowadays. Uh, but more to me, I, I just love this stuff. I mean, I just love it. Uh, it, it just goes on and on and on. Uh, grass cutters. I guess those are weed whackers. That's a, the old weed whackers. Uh, if our kids had to use one of them nowadays, they'd probably fall over. Uh, safes, I mean, uh, they don't make stuff like this anymore. Anyway, it's just interesting. We got lanterns, I mean, just pages and pages and pages. Lighting and lanterns. Uh, and I'm sorry if I'm not covering it very well. My camera's not the best. The shadow's terrible in here. But I just wanted to give you a little, a little bit of a look. Horseshoes. Uh, and then their horse tacking here, their saddles, there's, it, it's just incredible. So it's just incredible, the stuff that's in this book. But anyway, there's over 4,000 pages, and I'll show you the front here. Like I said, it's beat. The first couple pages are pretty beat. Uh, this is a Kelly, Kelly Howe Thompson Company. Uh, there's their Signia, and then it's, uh, Wholesale Hardware, Duluth, Minnesota. <clears throat> and, uh, I mean, look at the bolts holding this thing together, for God's sakes. It, it's just, it's just sick. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Uh, I think I'm going to throw it online, but 
I'm not sure. Uh, I have no idea what price guide means. Uh, uh, it's going to be on it, I mean. Uh, I saw an older 1880 version of something like this, went for 450 and then I saw a newer one, newer stuff, a couple newer ones, uh, uh, go for 150 125 or so, so I don't know, we'll see what happens, but uh, I'll keep you updated if anything changes, and uh, good from hearing of you, uh, all y'all, and uh, looking forward to the new show uh, on Tuesday nights with uh, Global Voodoo, Picking Profits, and Craigslist Hunter. Uh, I, uh, I encourage all of you to watch it if you really want to learn the real deal about picking. So, anyway, this is Mr. Sadie, and uh, hopefully I can come back with some more videos soon. I've really been trying, and I apologize for not doing so. But uh, we'll see you all soon uh, with any luck. Uh, Alrighty, have a good one.